Smart irrigation uh, can essentially deliver water when plants need it and in the amount that it's needed. They use technology to translate that as needed into action, what day, what time of day, and how long. Um, in many areas there are water restrictions, day of the week water restrictions, so you need to follow those regardless. In Florida and a lot of the state it's two days per week during the irrigation season, maybe one day per week in the winter time that you're limited to water. That doesn't mean you have to water. If it's a rainy uh, summertime in Florida, even though you have two days a week, you're allowed to water. You, you might not need to. In an ideal world you would have your irrigation system set up in zones and those zones uh, are equivalent to areas of plant material that have similar water needs. So you might have an area over here with turf grass that needs to get a, this, a certain amount of watering. And then you might have an area over here of ground cover that needs probably less watering. So being in zones like that allows you to target the amount of uh, irrigation runtime, which is the amount of irrigation to those areas. So it's really gonna depend on the plant. It's gonna depend on the time of year of, of how much water. But rules of thumb in Florida would be for our two day a week water restrictions will be a half an inch to three quarters of an inch for each of those two watering events per week. So that ends up being about an inch to an inch and a half per week and that roughly meets our evapotranspiration demand. That's the amount of water that plants give off and you have to replace with irrigation. It roughly meets, meets that for many of our plants.